What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a super late May favorites. I was questioning whether to even film this video because I know that we're getting kind of later in the month of June. Um, but I felt like, you know what, I owe it to myself. I really intended to film this video a little bit early. But there was just so many things that I was loving. Like so much amazing things that I was loving in the month of May. And I still wanted to share it with you guys. So I hope that May favorites is still relevant. Um, and my battery is low. So let's just get right into it. First things first, Glossier Lash Slick. For some reason, I find myself wanting to say Slick Lash. I don't know. So I had a lot of people asking me questions about this product. I was not able to um, give you guys like a full review because at the time when um, this launched, I was in the stages of getting my lash extensions removed and it took a little bit longer than expected. So I feel like if I were to make one now, I don't know, that it would be kind of irrelevant because there are tons of people who already made like review videos about it but I figured I would just give it a mention in this video because I really do love it now that all of my eyelash extension extensions are removed anyway now literally everyone and their mom can do a literal full face of Glossier I felt like this was something that was missing but it actually took Glossier a really long time to come out with this because I think it was like 248 formulations to finally like get to this one and that's why like I love Glossier so much because unlike some other brands which I'm not hating I'm not saying that you know whatever um but they actually take their time to you know perfect formulas of their products and the little details of it they take time to perfect it and make it what it is rather than you know coming out with a different product every month or I don't know like every few weeks I just feel like um with some companies that did that I just felt like the formula like the formulation just wasn't good or sometimes it was just worse this isn't just a normal mascara this is a fiber mascara um using Japanese fiber technology which I love because I just feel like a lot of Asian style um and beauty is so next level I have very oily um eyelids and just oily eyes period so a lot of mascaras cause like dripping um and they were just like midday I would just see like like a black belt up here in my eyes and sometimes like on the bottom that's why I never um, even if I did put mascara on the top lashes I never put it on the bottom because my eyes are just too teary and then I just be like a dripping mess but this one does not do that I feel like this mascara is perfect for like every day um, it really is a staple um, and the brush I at first I didn't find anything too special about the brush it's just kind of like that like like a slightly tapered brush normally the uh, mascaras that i use like better than sex um are kind of really poofy uh, but this one was kind of thin but i feel like now that i actually use it a ton i can see that that actually added to the whole uh, like non-clumping and elongating effect to the lashes uh, but you can see that they're very um like spread apart very open and they're really elongated as well and i don't know if you guys can see my little baby um bottom lashes and i've had this on for a few hours now i did pre-film another video before this and it's holding up very very well and the thing that i find so good about this as well is that it does have um biotin so it helps to nourish the lashes and condition them um because i am using grande lash serum at night not often as i should which is why i'm not really seeing dramatic like results yet um but once i get better with that hopefully um but anyway yeah like this helps to do that because um, my lashes have gone through a lot with my um, extensions and a lot of them fell out um i feel like they're okay right now but i feel like that's just kind of cool for them to add that in there oh i am a glossy rep for those of you that don't know um i put the link down below and you can get 20 percent off um, your first purchase as well okay so the next product is the nude sticks tinted blur stick i did make a full video on this so i don't want to talk about it for too long this is so cool because um first of all i just love that it comes in like this little stick form just makes it super easy for travel and on the go if you've seen my video you'll see that mine actually broke 
um but there she is she's living um i think that if you don't have oily skin like me i feel like you can get away without powdering it because it already has kind of like a nice satin finish um slightly mattified but not in the drying sense it is not a foundation um so it's just like a nice tint on the skin i feel like it does a good job at just um evening out your skin tone um minimizing pores and just overall like the texture of your skin looks smooth you'll see it in my uh nude sticks video just a really good one and done product especially perfect for the warmer months to come um but yeah you just pop the cap off swivel it around a little bit blend it out with your fingers and then you're good to go you, there's no way you can mess this up um yeah and if you're like me i love tinted products i don't like foundation i rarely ever use foundation so this is perfect okay so the next product is the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless, flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder in the shade medium two whoa i really slept on this um i remember seeing this a lot on to see Perkins YouTube channel, but I was just more of a loose powder type of gal. Um, you guys know that Glossier powder is my holy grail. It's just so amazing if you're wanting a super matte um, type of like smooth finish um, without feeling cakey. This is made with rose wax and almond oil, so it's super nourishing and hydrating, um, so you get that nice silky smooth finish. Um, but it's not going to be dry and flaky, but this does really have a really good coverage It's also really good for touch-ups as well. I know some other products um, It's really not good to touch up with I feel like all it does is just like break up product But I feel like if you're using this to touch up, you know, what I mean like you're patting on the product um, It's not cakey and it doesn't look disgusting and oily this product like any Charlotte Tilbury product is pricey but it's so worth it if you're wanting like a super flawless finish. So really recommend this. So the next few products is actually a part of a collection by Estee Lauder um, in collaboration with Violette, which who is my favorite French makeup artist. You guys know I'm just like, I wish I would be like a Parisian, but I'm not. So this <laughs> made me feel like I was. Um, but yeah, so this is her collection. I was super stoked about it. Um, I don't think I've really ever tried Essay a lot of products. So this was like a good, um, opportunity for me too. And I love every single product. So this here is the Pure Color Envy Sculpting Eyeshadow 5 Color Palette. Um, just so just lovely. The color selection was just right. Um, I feel like it's really flattering and wearable for uh, people of different skin tones. I love this shade here, just the most perfect dual chrome pink. All the shades are so perfect for spring and summer. And then she did make this really cool uh, multi-use product. This is the Soft Glow um, for Lips and Cheeks in La Rose. That's what the shade's called, I love it. So it's like a solid product. You just kind of put your finger in there and then dab it out. Um, so it really gives you that really nice, like, um, glowy, sweaty type of highlight. This formula is super light. It's not like thick or anything. Um, and then it really has like that nice, like rosy tint. Um, like rose gold type of um, highlight. So I really love this one. But then there is my most favorite one out of the whole collection, which I'm actually wearing on my lips right now. This is the Poppy Sauvage um, liquid lipstick. This is, I could say, like my new signature red lip. I just love the shade of red. It's not too dark, not too light. It's just perfect for day and night it's just such a nice product it feels like it's not even there the lightest most pigmented liquid lipstick i've ever tried and i just love it she did right by this selection i love violette and like i said i did make a video on this so you guys can go ahead and watch it and then just snag whatever products is left of this product because it is um limited edition which i'm really sad about lori um if you guys watch my vlogs and you guys are familiar with lori um, she did introduce me to this dry bar triple sec three and one um, like texture volume and refreshes product. It's actually my first time trying a dry bar product period and I don't like products that weigh my hair down but this one is just so light and airy but it really does like give your hair some added texture. I do like to um, spray my hair with this after I wash my hair because I don't like the feeling of super clean hair. It's just too slick. 
Um, so this does a job. And then I do love, um, I think I have like lived out my whole um, straight bob look. So I'm really loving, especially now for summer, just a super wavy, tousled, messy like hairdo. Here, so I just lift it at the base. And then just kind of play with it. And this just smells amazing like it just smells like a beautiful bougie powder i don't know like that's <laughs> that's like the best way that i can describe it and even my boyfriend complimented me on this because he said that um he loved the smell of it so Skin or my next favorite is a skincare product that i'm just so blown away by so this is the leo oil there she is here just so beautiful so chic um they do come in a white bottle now i think they'll be using white bottles now um i do need to get my hands on that one so this oil is actually handmade by um dina uh someone who i just adore and just really look up to this is made out of metal foam seed oil rose hip seed oil i love rose hip um and blue tansy oil so a very um, small ingredient list which just goes to show you that this is just made out of all good ingredients because even though it's an oil it's not heavy so I find it perfect for the daytime um, I use this uh, right after like my um, what do you call Ula Hendrickson true serum thing um, and it just is so amazing it really does absorb so nicely into the skin but not in the sense that it's just going to just go away you still have that nice super nice glowy like supple look to the skin and i just love this um and the thing about it too is the smell of this is amazing it's just something so therapeutic about it i just feel like this scent in the morning time just really helps get me like re-energized for like my day in the morning i don't know it just gives me that extra like zen time in my morning before my day gets crazy and hectic i just feel like everything with this product is just so well thought out and perfect you that it's such a good quality and two actually the box that it came in um, was really tiny so it's not using excess like packaging and then um it did come with this card which i just thought was so cute and i actually do um keep it near my vanity so i can always have it as a reminder right there it has the Leo oil and then in the back it actually has a little quote um it says you cannot choose the shit that life is going to send your way all you can control is how you react to it and then it says Dina's mom so that's dope it's just a really well loved product um and i'm just so happy for her um with the success that she's having with this product so that is all for today i felt like i was talking for forever so sorry for all like the background noises and everything and that this video took so long to come out but it is here and i hope you guys loved it if you guys tried any of this product or if you want to let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and yeah let's just talk about it um and uh yeah i do have um some other ideas of videos that i want to film for the summer so if you guys aren't subscribed yet um definitely subscribe and turn on your post notifications that way you guys get a notification every time i put out a new video and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and for your patience and i will see you guys in my next video